Captain Miles Keogh thought Comanche was lucky, having ridden him throughout his career in the 7th Cavalry. Well, Comanche wasn't lucky, or at least not for his rider, on June 25, 1876, when the 7th Cavalry was defeated by the Lakota and Cheyenne, and every man in George Custer's column was killed, including Keogh. Comanche survived. The horse was wounded seven times, one bullet exiting his left shoulder. This matched the wound in Keogh's shattered left knee, proving he had been riding the horse when shot. When members of the 7th buried their friends on June 28th, they found Comanche, who, limping and bleeding, managed to follow them 16 miles to the steamer. At Fort Lincoln, Comanche was put in a special sling to take weight off his feet while he healed. The commander ordered he never be ridden again. He was pampered by all and wandered freely around post. Soldiers loved that horse so much they gave him buckets of beer on payday. When Comanche died in 1891, he was given a military funeral, but his coat was mounted. He remains at the University of Kansas today.